Hello everyone and welcome to Unreal Engine 5 and Wise Video Tutorial Series. In this video we will deal the most problematic implementation so far, which is callback. Callbacks have couple triggers to execute certain functions and I'll show you how to implement marker callbacks. Other callbacks variations are relatively similar to but they list in different activities of events. Let's start with the Wise project. I will adapt the Firebase sound which we were using for a couple videos. We need to set markers on it. Choose Firebase, open source editor under views, editors. Click the place you want to set the marker, right click and add marker. You can also give this marker a label, which I'll create two markers with blue fire on and off. The idea behind it, whenever we reach first marker, the actor will start blue particle effects and the opposite for the second marker. Not much to do on here now. Generate the sound bank and open Unreal project. Open the Firebase blueprint. You can see we were posting the event by blueprint and on the post AK event function, there are two pins giving information about callbacks. They are callback mask and post event callback. Callback mask are the activities that can trigger the post event callback. You can choose more than one of these in the drop down menu, but I'll choose the marker only for this example. Post event callback is a reference to an event that we don't have at the moment. General use of this pin is dragging to create an event. This reference has an event template already with callback type and info. This custom event let us do whatever we want to define on it and it will be triggered whenever the event reach a marker. I want to activate blue particles when the marker is blue fire on and vice versa. So I'll cast callback info to marker callback info first and do the math afterwards. Marker callback info let us read the label of the marker it hit. My implementation is simply that, checks the string values and activates the particles. Let's try it. You can observe the particles of fire bases. It brings blue fumes time to time and it's triggered by the callback markers we made. I want to show you these possible callback masks on the list. We can use end of event, marker, duration and starvation for every event. But anything starting with music sync requires to be under music hierarchy of Vice project. Time to do the same in C++. I already converted blueprint post event to C++ so we don't have to repeat that again.
we used to use null callback because we weren't triggered that at all. Now I'll create a variable for this callback in the header file and use it inside the function. F1 AK post event callback is a delegate, so it's not an actual class than a delegate for an event. When we find its definition, it shows the declaration of the delegate. This delegate has five parameters. First one is the name, second and fourth ones are the variables of the event it requires. Simple way to use it, copying these values to create new function with that. My callback function now has two variables, EAK callback type and UAK callback info pointer. You can name the function whatever you want. Now we should bind this function to the delegate. It requires the name of this callback function we created. Then simply use bind u function on the delegate variable. First parameter is the object, which is self, and the second parameter is the name of callback we just assigned on a variable. Binding callback event is done, but we still require the callback mask. Go to the definition of post event, it will show us the source of values we can use. It says EAK callback type. Go to the definition of this and it shows possible unum types. Since we require a marker, we can use 2 as the parameter. Now we fill the callback function, same as blueprints, cast the marker callback info, get labels, compare the string values to adapt blue particles. Before building the project, be sure your callback function has a uFunction macro. While the Visual Studio shows no errors, it gave a compilation error. This recording was made with my 
error shows a linker issue and it took me a couple hours to figure it out. I found a tip in the Audio Kinetics Q&A forums and it was the solution for this problem. Go to the definition of UAK marker callback info. There are a couple of the right callback infos that lack something. When I check the parent class of these callback info classes, it shows me the parent class has AK Audio API macro in the name and that what breaks the compiling. Simply copy this macro and paste these callback infos that lacks. Now we can build the project again and it shouldn't give an error of compilation. And it built without a problem. Now we start the Unreal project and test this code. Unfortunately, it shows no sign of implementation. Our firebases don't show any sign of blue fumes, while the code shows no problem, what could be causing that? I found another tip in the forums again, that says using EAK callback type doesn't work. Instead of EAK callback type, we should use AK callback type. Let's go back to code and find the fix. I came back to EAK callback type enum and it shows marker as 2, which what we did. In the same header file, try to find AK callback type. Under AK callback type helpers, you can see AK callback type class. You can reach it by anywhere, but it seems like the easiest way to find it. Go to definition of AK callback type. Now it shows the AK marker as 4, which is weird that the function asks for EAK callback type but we ended up with AK callback type. Let's grab this value and paste it on the post event function and play the game if that works. It already shows the debug messages on the screen and the fire effects can be observed too. So we have done it by the code. It has been required some extra fixations we have to do, which we don't have to, but if it required to make it work, it is the way. Let's repeat the fixes we have done once again. We added AK Audio API macro to the marker, duration and MIDI callback infos. And instead of EAK callback type enum, we use AK callback type enum. You know. 
Alright, that was it for the tutorial. In coding site, we had to do a couple extra stuff we couldn't foresee, but we managed to make it working. Blueprints were relatively easier than C++, couple node creations and such. I hope you have followed and overcame the problems we have solved today. Thanks for joining me on this episode, if you have anything to ask about it, feel free to comment under the video and have a good day.